In this video, I'll show you how you can easily trim and edit videos in PowerPoint without having to learn complex software. In PowerPoint, you can easily insert any video that you have taken and is stored on your computer or USB stick or in your course. Download the video onto your desktop and use the video icon in the insert tab to insert a video from your PC. In this case, I'll pull in the, a pre-recorded lesson on Excel Lesson 5. The video appears on a PowerPoint slide, at which point in time I have two new video tools available to me, Format and Playback. In the Format tab, I can control the styling and design of the video in PowerPoint, including cropping it and moving it around. In the Playback tab, I can do things like add bookmarks, trim the video, insert a fade, loop the video, or insert captions. In this case, I'd like to trim the video as there is a portion at the beginning that I don't want to use. When I click trim the video, I can start to preview the video and use that preview to be able to trim the video from the front. I can also trim the end time of my video to create a smaller video segment. Say for example in this scenario I'd like to only talk about using the first set of sheets that I'm demonstrating in this, in this Excel file. When I trim that video, if I'd like to use the remaining portion of the video, I'll just insert that video again and trim it again. But I'll take note of my start time and my end time to be able to uh, work with those timestamps. Once I hit OK, I've got a briefer version of the video now appearing on that slide. If I'd like to include the latter portion of the video, I can go ahead and I can insert a new slide and I can pull in the same video again. This time, my trimming is going to happen from the beginning to the end. So I'll remember that I had that 18 second timestamp and I'll look to line up my beginning timestamp with the end. I'll trim a little bit off the end and hit OK. Something that you, now I have effectively two videos. I have my first video, which represents the first portion of my clip, and I have my second portion of the video, and I've effectively trimmed them in the middle. From here, I can choose to right click on the video and save them as two unique videos by using the Save Media As function, where I can save them to my desktop as Excel lesson five sheet one, and I can save it uniquely as Excel lesson two sheet two. I have other choices though. Maybe I would actually like these videos trimmed out, but I'd like to actually have a start screen, a split screen, and an exit screen and turn these into one holistic video but with a few um, edits in between. So I can start to insert some slides that I might have used at previous, uh, in previous PowerPoint slide deck. For example, I have a previous video called Tap to Edit where I can use the screens at the beginning and I can insert these as title screens to my video. I might want to use things like an objective slide to help set the objectives and intentions for my students. And I might want to put in an introduction slide before the video that clarifies that this will be a demonstration of sheet one. I might also include 
a slide that indicates that the next slide is a demonstration of sheet two. On each of these slides, I'll look to add some narrations. I'll look to use the transition slide to add transitions that go between each of the slides. I might want to have them have a duration of just a few seconds and advance the slide after a reasonable amount of time, say four to seven seconds should be sufficient. I'll look to add that same transition to each of my slides and choose the duration for each. I'll make sure that the duration is no longer than it would take for a person to read this slide deck. In this case, for this slide, as there's some text present, I might offer it 15 seconds. Continue to add transitions and animations to control the timing of your presentation. And once you're done, you have a video that will play and record. So you can see that I've been compiling a storyboard along the side, compiling slides and videos. And I can actually use the file menu to export these as a video. Because I'm going to be uploading this into my Microsoft Stream or YouTube channel, I can go ahead and use the full HD. If I was choosing to make a video that was shorter than three minutes, I would want to compress that file size, perhaps to standard, and that can be directly uploaded into Econestoga. I'm going to choose to use recorded timings and narrations because I've added these to my presentation slide. And then I'll choose Create Video, saving it to my desktop to be easily retrieved later. Once your video is done processing, it'll appear on your desktop as an MP4 file, and you can go ahead and upload to YouTube or Stream, whichever service you're using to share with your students. Then link into your courses.